Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an overview of this Seasonic Platinum Series 1000 watt power supply. Just to get a little bit more specific here, this is the Platinum-1000 or SS1000XP Active PFC F3 model that we're looking at right here. Uh, this is the new Platinum line or 80 plus Platinum rated line of power supplies from Seasonic. They also have an 840 watt model uh, on top of the 1000 watt model that we have here. Uh, of course, with 80 plus platinum, that is an efficiency rating. So depending on the load that you have on the power supply, uh, for the platinum rating, you need 90% efficiency at 20% load, 92% efficiency at 50% load, and 89% efficiency at 100% load. Uh, also included in the power supply here, we have the Seasonic patented DC connector panel with integrated voltage regulation model, module. Uh, which is basically a full modular design. It minimizes voltage drops and impedance, maximizes efficiency and cooling, and enhances your overall performance and reliability. A lot of you might be familiar with the X series of uh, Seasonic power supplies. We featured those in a few of the builds that we did here on Newegg TV. Uh, but you get all of that sort of goodness, such as the uh, high current um, thermal material that is used, 105 degrees Celsius ja uh, Japan-made caps, uh, solid capacitors, uh, capability to support multiple GPUs and a seven-year warranty from Seasonic. Uh, up here on the upper right, we see that we have a tight voltage regulation of uh, plus or minus 2%. Uh, also a hybrid fan design, um, which I'm a big fan of because basically at a particular load uh, between 0 and 30% on this power supply, the fan will not even turn on. That means it will operate completely noiselessly. Between 30 and 50%, you'll get a silent mode for the fan that's uh, 16 decibels, and then it will ramp up from there based on the load that's on the power supply and the amount of heat that's generated. Finally, the 120-millimeter uh, fan is a Sanyo Denki San Ace silent fan, uh, and again, that works with the hybrid silent fan control to make sure that the power supply stays as quiet as possible. And next up, let's take a look at accessories and other items included in the box. Here's a little bit of documentation on that aforementioned seven-year warranty provided by Seasonic. You also get the owner's manual here with the uh, Seasonic uh, slogan, Green Innovation Powers Your Life. If you're looking at a platinum uh, series power supply, you're probably at least a little bit interested in power efficiency because that is really what the 80-plus platinum uh, determination means, is that you're going to save on your power bill overall. Uh, here you get a bunch of zip ties to help with your cable management. You also get a set of Seasonic uh, Velcro strips, again, for cable management. Proper cable management can assist in better airflow in your computer, keep your components cooler, add to their lifespan. Uh, you also get a Powered by Seasonic badge, as well as four screws to mount the power supply to your case. Next up here, in this little container here, Seasonic Platinum uh, logo is all of your modular cables and uh, it's got two compartments here and I'm going to leave that for now and come back to it because there's lots of cables and I want to sort them out before I show them to you guys. Next up of course is the power supply itself. It comes in a chic sort of uh, faux velvet bag. Very nice looking, very, very plush. And uh, there's your power supply itself. As you can see, we have a nice platinum logo on the side with the 80 plus platinum badge. And the top, we can see the 120 millimeter fan uh, that you can have uh, basically pulls air in to cool the components in the, er, in the power supply. There at the back, we can see our on off switch as well as AC uh, adapter cable plug. And then here, we have uh, an exhaust vent that uh, allows air to move out of this power supply to make sure that the components stay cool, of course. Uh, here is a quick look at the power chart on the side, and we can see that this is a single rail design. So we have a single plus 12 volt rail right there, 83 amps on that, gives you 996 watts total usable power on the 12 volt rail. And uh, yeah, very nice. Finally, oh yes, did I mention this is a 100% fully modular power supply? Yes, no cables at all come pre attached. Uh, they're, are, they're all laid out for you there, so you can know. Uh, what to plug in where, PCI Express for example over here, motherboard and CPU power over there, peripherals and whatnot up here, and then another PCI Express one up there on the top. Uh, and then we can see here there's a sticker 
What does this sticker mean? Remove before use. We have hybrid and normal. Uh, select the fan control. So this is actually a separate switch that will let you uh, change the fan control. More information in the manual. So let's check that out. Okay, so I've located the information for the switch in the manual. Basically, in hybrid mode, it will enable that fanless mode uh, where from 0 to 30% load, the fan does not spin up at all and it keeps the power supply completely silent. If you put it in normal mode, the fan will spin at all times, but in either of those modes, it will enable that uh, fan design that will ramp up the fan speed based on the power supply's uh, current load. And next up here is a look at all of the cables and accessories you get in that little pouch that I showed you. First off, you get a little screwdriver, so it's got a reversible tip here for flathead or Phillips head. Nice little bonus there to help you install your power supply if you don't have one handy. Here is your standard AC adapter power cable. You get a 24 pin or 20 plus 4 pin motherboard power connector and that is for most motherboards that are 20 or 24 pin. You get a couple CPU power connectors. I believe one of these will split. Yes, this one here will split so you get 4 plus 4. If you have a uh, motherboard that only has 4 pin, you can use that one. Uh, and you also get this one here which is a full 8 pin connector and uh, bear in mind that you can use both of these if you for instance have a motherboard that has uh, more supplemental CPU power connectors, or if you, for instance, have a motherboard that uses dual CPUs. Here are the peripheral cables, and uh, here you will notice a couple bundles of four pin Molex plugs. They have nice little squeeze plugs right there that help you disengage them if they get stuck. So you get three plus three plus two, that's eight, and then you get a Molex to floppy adapter there as well if you have need for floppy power. Over here we have some PCI Express power connectors. You get three of these and all three of them have six plus two pin PCI Express power connectors. So you do have support for up to three video cards with uh, dual eight pin connectors on all of them. So for your SLI, for your Crossfire X setups, plenty of PCI Express power. Uh, now finally some more peripherals here and these are serial ATA cables. Now one thing I want to mention here is that uh, on the box Right there, it says that we get 11 serial ATA plugs. And I actually think that the model that they sent us here for the video has one small discrepancy in that they gave us an extra Molex plug here. So pretend this is a SATA uh, adapter, just like these are. But you get a 3, a 3, another 3 if this were SATA plugs, and then a 2 SATA plug adapters. And that equals up to 11 total serial ATA power connectors. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Seasonic 1000 watt 80 plus platinum certified fully modular power supply from Seasonic, of course. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.